In this exercise tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through how to do a TRX lunge progression because we're going to be doing TRX overhead lunges. Now, the difference between a TRX lunge and a TRX overhead lunge is the position of the hands is overhead. For a body weight style, you just put the hands overhead. You can also choose to have a plate, like for example, a weighted plate above your head, and that would make the exercise even harder if you wanted to progress the normal body weight version of this exercise. Not only are you gonna have your back stabilizers work more during this variation, you're also gonna have your core and lower back challenged more due to the added proprioception and balance of the exercise. What I want you to do when you're setting up the TRX is to pop the bottom handles in line with the middle or just slightly below the middle of your shins. There's two ways to approach getting into the TRX. One is to put your foot through one TRX loop. So when I say TRX loop, I mean this part. The other option is to put your foot through both. I like to do the latter just because there's less chance of the TRX slipping during this exercise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these TRX handles up in line with each other. I'm then gonna grab the TRX. From here, if you've got something to put your hand, your free hand onto for balance, please do. And you're gonna put your foot through both of the TRX handles. Now, here's the bit they don't show you on these tutorial videos, which is the very ungraceful getting into the position part, which consists of hopping forwards until you're in the right position. What I want to feel in this position is I've got my back leg being completely taken by the TRX. I'm pretty much weightless in that back leg. It's freely hanging. From here, because I've actually got my back leg back behind my body, a neutral position for me and my back is actually gonna be leaning slightly forwards. And the reason for that is when you come into the TRX lunge, you'll find that your back leg goes further back during the motion. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to track this forward leg, the knee of the forward leg, in line with the second toe. That makes sure that the knee doesn't buckle in or come too far out during the exercise. It's hard because the balance of the exercise is now thrown off by the hands being above the head and you're gonna come down as much as your range permits and back up, keeping that nice straight neutral spine as you come down and back up for each individual repetition. Once you've done your repetitions and sets, you would do exactly the same on the opposing side 